So renovating a rental is different than renovating a flip. Knowing what to do and what not to do can really make or break your cash flow. So when you buy a house knowing it's going to be a rental, be careful not to overdo it on the renovations. When you renovate a house to flip a house, you want to make it look beautiful. You want to make it look so when the buyer walks in, they go, wow, this is amazing. So that requires putting a new kitchen in, new bathrooms, new appliances, you know, new flooring throughout, new windows throughout. Those are all important things. They're going to be looking for things like a new roof. They want to make sure that works, the furnace and all that. You have to have a different set of goggles on or a different set of lenses on when you look at it to become a real estate investor if it's going to be a rental. As a rental, you have to say, for every dollar I put in, will I get my money back? Now on a flip, if you say, for every dollar I put in, can I get $1.50 back in my return? If you put new kitchen in and it costs you $12,000, it might increase the value of that house by $20,000. So that's a good investment or good ROI. That's important. As a landlord or as somebody who's going to build a rental portfolio, if you put a new kitchen in a house, and let's say it costs you $12,000, you might increase your rent by $100 a month. And that's going to be it. Now really, by the time you take that extra $100 a month that you're getting, how long will it take you to pay off the kitchen that you spent $12,000 for? It will take you so many years that by the time you actually got your money back on the kitchen you put in, it's going to be time to replace the kitchen anyway. So it's important that you don't over-renovate. For a kitchen, for a, a rental, like I was saying, you could put kitchen cabinets, you can just paint the cabinets, you can put knobs on, you can put simple flooring in, you can put basic appliances in, white appliances, you don't have to overdo it. Same with the bathroom. You don't have to go crazy and put beautiful tile in and make it look beautiful like you would for a flip. You can simply put a, a tub surround in, paint it, you might be able to paint the existing vanity there and put a very cheap toilet in and just make it look clean. Your job as a real estate investor for rentals is to give people a clean, safe home that they can live in. How else can you save money? As a flipper, you're going to want to put all the majors on a house, a new roof, right? A new furnace, a new windows. As a buyer of rental properties, you don't have to do that. You can actually use them up. And what I mean is, let's say that a roof has five years left on it. And in a, re in a flip situation, you probably have to replace that to get maximum dollar for your flip. Well, in a rental, the tenant doesn't really care if the roof has five or seven years left on it. You can just keep repairing that until it comes time to replace it. Same with a furnace, same with windows. Any major item, you can just simply repair until it's actually time to replace. So if you manage your numbers correctly and treat a flip like a flip and treat a rental like a rental, you can maximize your dollars and maximize your long-term investment.